Road to GH will reveal the story of Lulu waking up after four years in a coma. However, instead of feeling relieved to return to reality, she is overwhelmed by fear. Fragmented memories emerge like scattered shards, sometimes vivid, other times muddled, making it impossible for her to distinguish reality from illusion. Lulu vaguely recalls the horrifying explosion at the floating rib, the suffocating smoke and dust, and the deafening blast. The cold, haunting face of Cyrus looms in her mind like a ghost. But the most terrifying moment comes when she hears his deep voice in her hospital room. Cyrus is speaking with her doctor, and his words leave Lulu breathless. She can't believe her ears, how could the man she once swore to destroy be part of her family? Shock and fear intertwine, and she can only pretend to remain comatose while her mind spirals with questions and a growing sense of dread. Following her liver transplant surgery, Lulu remained in a coma, though her consciousness lingered in a liminal space between wakefulness and oblivion. In these hazy moments, she heard a familiar voice, the deep timbre of Cyrus, beside her hospital bed. At first, his words were disjointed and incomprehensible, but gradually, they pieced together into a clearer picture. Cyrus mentioned the name Sam, his tone cold and calculating. He hinted that Sam's death wasn't an accident, but the result of a mishandled dose of digitalis that led to her death on the operating table. Lulu doesn't know the details of Sam's death, but Cyrus's words suggest he knows more than he lets on. As she listens, Lulu becomes increasingly aware that Cyrus is blaming Elizabeth, accusing the nurse of making a fatal mistake that caused Sam's death. Yet, amidst his words, she senses a peculiar evasion, as if Cyrus is deliberately concealing part of the truth. Though physically unresponsive, Lulu feels a chilling suspicion that Cyrus might be the true orchestrator of these events. His words don't just confuse her, they instill a paralyzing fear, making her wonder if she holds a crucial piece of the past that Cyrus is determined to erase. Upon waking, Lulu faces not only the frailty of her body, but also the haunting memories. Cyrus's voice lingers in her mind, his words etched deep, tormenting her every moment. She doesn't know whom to trust or what is real. Yet one thing is certain, Cyrus isn't just a distant relative, he is the keeper of secrets that could change everything. To protect herself and uncover the truth, Lulu knows she must act. But first, she must escape from turning woods and evade Cyrus, whose constant presence looms as an imminent threat. As time passes, Lulu grows increasingly desperate to leave. The feeling of being watched and the oppressive presence of Cyrus become unbearable. She knows she has to do something before it's too late. Lulu decides to flee. No one knows where she has gone, not even Lulu herself is sure what she's searching for. She seeks a place where she can't be easily found, somewhere far from Cyrus's reach and the shadows that haunt her. Hiding from prying eyes, she remains in the shadows, yet her mind is plagued by relentless memories, like pieces of an unsolvable puzzle. She feels as though she's forgotten something crucial, a secret that could change everything. Disjointed images of the explosion, a familiar voice, and the name Sam keep resurfacing, leaving her both confused and determined to uncover the truth. Meanwhile, back in Port Charles, Lulu's sudden disappearance throws her family into panic. Laura nearly collapses upon learning her daughter is no longer at Turning Woods. Consumed with guilt over her inability to protect Lulu from past tragedies, Laura can't stop blaming herself. Dante immediately coordinates with the police, organizing extensive searches, but all efforts prove futile. They comb through areas around Turning Woods and question anyone who might have seen Lulu, but no leads surface. The Spencer family lives in constant fear, worrying that Lulu is not only in danger, but may never return. During her escape, Lulu slowly realizes that her fragmented memories are leading her to a horrifying truth. She begins to recall events before the explosion, her investigations, the evidence she had gathered against Cyrus, and the truth she believed she had uncovered before everything fell apart. Lulu senses that Cyrus wasn't just behind the floating rib explosion, but is also connected to Sam's mysterious death. Each time the memories resurface, she feels a mix of fear and anger. She knows she must find a way to unravel it all, but also understands that any mistake could cost her life. In Port Charles, Laura and Dante refuse to give up hope. 
Each day, they launch new search efforts, questioning whether Lulu was kidnapped or is deliberately hiding. Yet as time passes, the fear of losing her forever grows. Meanwhile, Lulu continues her solitary journey, grappling with painful memories and seeking answers to the secrets buried over the past four years. Will she uncover the truth before Cyrus discovers her hiding place? Or will she be drawn into a dangerous vortex she cannot escape? The only thing Lulu knows is that she cannot stop, because the truth, no matter how terrifying, is her only chance at freedom.